Sabaho and good morning guys from beautiful Lebanon today we are doing a bit of a special activity we're gonna go paragliding so we've got to go to Junia first it's a city on from Beirut so we're gonna be getting an uber there and then we're gonna be doing this amazing experience so I'm very excited we got the uh, uber five minutes away and yeah I'd recommend to always use uber if you're in Lebanon just because uh, you get like a fair price and actually to go for this like half an hour trip, maybe 25 minutes, half an hour, 215,000 uh, lira, which is six, seven dollars, which is absolutely crazy. So we'll give him a tip. And uh, Mr. Mustafa is on his way. Chalo yalla. There we go. Hello, Mustafa. Hello. Here we go. The Uber, the chariots has arrived. Yalla. Kifak. Right. Good, good, good. To uh, Junior? It's camera, YouTube. Junior? Junior? How much will you give? Uh, uh, it's 200. I give, uh, I give you uh, 300. 50% tip, but uh, 200 to Junior is uh, very, very cheap. So I think it's fair to give him 300. I haven't actually explained what paragliding is. Paragliding is basically um, you fly in the air with like this wing it's like basically flying there's actually an I think there's a small engine on it so you're like gliding and flying and it's really really uh, I've actually never done it before so uh, but I've heard it's really really good fun and obviously very mountainous in Lebanon so you get to fly over the city and then you land like on the beach basically and it's like $80 which is an increase apparently from last year it's like $60 last year so bit of an increase but I still don't think that's a bad price you see here this is this is a port explosion what explosion port yeah ah. all the area broken yeah all this area was completely too damaged much, too much too much you know my house your house the, my house yeah the, uh, other other country you know, side of, from side of. side of. I am sitting in my house yeah three from here in my house you feel 60 it 60 kilometer Wow. My house make like this. No. Oh my God. 60 kilo, you make like this my house. Wow. All the glass coming down. Smash. 50 kilometers away, guys. So imagine what was happening to these buildings. Crazy. Lebanese food is... <laughs> yeah. What is the best Lebanese food to get? Hummus? Uh, what about uh, chicken shawarma? Yeah, it's, yeah, good, it's good. It's very good, very you good. Like? Oh yeah, oh yeah. How do I say good? Uh, nee. You eat you eat, you eat shawarma? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Best shawarma in the world at Restaurant Joseph's. And then, uh, oh, we've got a little bit of traffic. Uh, tauk, oh, yeah. tauk, hummus. Uh, Armenian, Manouche, Tabule, uh, Fatouche. Fatouche, yeah. What else? Anything else I need to try? Borhana. What's that? Borhana Pamo. Borhana. Never heard of it. Kanefe. I've done it all, guys. I've done it all. Although, there's definitely some things I've missed. Or oh, I haven't had a falafel sandwich. I'm going to have one today after I do the paragliding. That is a promise. That is a Harry Jagger guarantee. Money back guarantee. Although you guys haven't paid any money to watch this, so you won't be getting anything back. So this is uh, Junior, guys. It kind of reminds me of uh, like Rio de Janeiro because it's just like in the mountains. It looks so cool. So we're going to be going all the way up there. Well, first we're going to check in and then we're going to go all the way up there and then we're going to be flying around over here. You can actually see you guys won't be able to see. You can see some of the guys flying already. You want to come paragliding? Huh? You go paragliding? Yeah. Paragliding. Yeah. You come? Tell free. <laughs> uh, no, 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 not tell freak. Uh, paragliding. Uh, where? Hold on. Can't can't see them now. Flying. Flying. Ah. <laughs> Trying to explain. If trying to invite him to come, it's not going to happen anytime soon. Alright, we have arrived. 
Merci. For Hello, you. Thank you very Merci, much. Kaye. Merci, Reyes. Good luck. Thank you so much. Hello. Good. How are you? All right, guys, we've arrived. Gravity Outdoor Advisors. Kifak. Good. Meshat Hav. Ready? Oh, so tough. Um, we are ready? You are ready? Yalla, yalla. It's safe? Very safe. Very safe. You want to write your name here mm -hmm. and your signature, please? Merci. Yeah, so if anyone doesn't know what it is, this is paragliding. It kind of makes sense exactly what it is because the para is a parachute and gliding. Obviously, you're, you're not falling like when you're para. Uh, when you're skydiving you're actually gliding because there's a machine so it's pretty self-explanatory guys um, but uh, in terms of how it actually works the machine I have no idea so this is questions that we'll be asking uh, the man and they said that I'm allowed to take this GoPro with me so I'll be filming hopefully I won't drop my GoPro and uh, we'll be ready all we gotta do now is fly and yeah, I just paid $80. I actually paid in dollars, which is preferable for them. Uh, I just had $800, so you can see. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but that's that's probably my pilot right there. So I'm just sitting here with the boys. You are the pilot? Yes. You are the Arab champion chef. Oh yeah? On yeah. jet? Yeah. Wow. Well, no. it's, so it's, it's a sport? Yeah. Oh, oh nice. Uh, sport landing. Ah. What is your name? Habib Mono. Habib? Yeah. <laughs> That's a Habib, cool name. Habibi. Habibi. Come to Lebanon. Habibi. <laughs> Anyone ever died doing this? Uh, no, my friend. Your friend died? Oh, wow. <laughs> Anjed? No, no. no. <laughs> I, was, la, la, la. I was ready to cancel. Sorry? 260 or no? 60? 360. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I hero 10. La, hero 10. So like you, when you're flying, you, you pull on the strings to, to go right and left? Yeah. Okay. It's very, very easy. Easy? Yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah, so the, the sign-up process was pretty pretty simple. No no waiver forms, no insurance. Just uh, sign your name and you're ready to go, which is efficient. No red tape bureaucracy nonsense. <laughs> All right guys, fast forward a little bit and we just cruised up about 20 minute drive up and we are now up in the mountains. You are the pilot boss? Yeah man. Okay, how many how many I have, jumps uh, have you done? More than 10,000 flights. 10,000? And I'm a Red Bull athlete. Red Bull? International, yeah, international Red Bull athlete. Oh, awesome. And I flew all my life in Europe in the hardest condition. Oh, awesome. This is easy. Is this it's, easy? We're flying and we're gonna have fun. Oh, sick. Whoa. The weather, the wind is really Oh my god. This views are insane. We've got a nice little cafe. Hello, bonsoir. Oh my god, look at this. It's because the area is protected by those mountains. And it's uh, so... Uh, it's rarely to find a place like that because the... The, the sea is so close to you. Uh -huh. And when it's so close to you, the wind will come without any obstacles. So it will come, it's like flat wind. It's not doing like this. Uh -huh. And it's protected. So when, when it's protected, the bad wind will not come inside. So whatever uh -huh. the wind is strong, it's going to do their turn and come, and it will come uh, directly. So it's really on the safest place to fly on Earth. Oh, awesome. Yes. That's great. And beautiful, beautiful, beautiful views. Beautiful view, and you have like... And we're going we're gonna to go for a long flight. Oh, awesome. I'm, I'm very excited. Okay, merci Kaye. Over there, there's two landed, one and two. Uh -huh. The two have the carpet on it also. Yeah. It's over there. Okay, sweet. So this is the suit. It's like a little jetpack. What? Yes. Nice. Uh, just turn a little bit here. Okay. Yes, that's it. Mm -hmm. Just for you to know, mm -hmm. if the, in the UK there's BHPA. Mm -hmm. The BHPA is the, like uh, the, the paragliding community. Yeah, they, they, uh, we work with them also. Oh, so yeah? relax and uh, enjoy the flight. Merci. 
Uh, my phone in my pocket. Should I? Yeah. Uh, yes, better to put it in the pocket of the gun. Perfect. There we go, you can see. Wow. It's so awesome how it just glides away. It looks effortless. So there's there's no there's no motor? No. What is your name? Harry. Harry and Rudolf. Rudolf. Very nice name. I thought there was an engine. No. Oh. And we're gonna go up without any engine. Ah, so we're just relying on mother... On the thermal wind, like the hot wind going up. Mother nature. Yes. There we go. They just glide off. I saw my friends did this, Luke, and he... Luke? He's he, your friend? Yeah, yeah. He's, he flies solo? No, 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 no. Oh. He crashed into the rubble. Ah, yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's with friend. other company, man. Ah, okay. He's with other it's company. It's not happening with us. Hey, uh, <laughs> I don't want to talk on YouTube about that. Okay. But uh, again, we are certified insurance pilot. That guy has also 12 years. He spent all his life in Europe training with the best. I'm a Red Bull artist. You can Google my name, Rudolf Eichel. I'm one of the best in the world. Oh, wow. And I'm training my guys to be one of the best in the world. So oh, that's great news. For you, just relax and enjoy. It's going to be super easy. Awesome. All right. I think we got like maybe one or two more to go. The nerves are starting to kick in now, not gonna lie. But uh, there's no turning back for me. No, oh, oh, no way. We must be a thousand meters above sea level, I reckon. Waiting for the wind. The wind shifts uh -huh. in that direction. We need it to be a little bit up. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's absolutely no wind right now. Oh, and they're off. Ooh. <laughs> This is it. This is the, the puppy that's going to be keeping us alive, inshallah. Asaba, asaba. English, English, baby. Ah, English? Yeah. Can you stand up here, please? Of course. Okay. Your hands down, please. Uh, please yeah. We're going to again wait for the perfect one. Uh huh. And we'll go. And it's going to be. So, let me tell you what you have to do. You have to walk. Uh -huh. And you have to keep walking. Uh -huh. the whiskey. Uh, whiskey. Keep walking. Like okay. Johnny Walker. All right. Just yalla bina. Gonna uh, wait for the wind to slow down. Uh huh. <laughs> and we'll be in the air. مش معود راس هلا إنه لو معود بحطه فوق بطلع شوم كوبرا. معقولة هذه غيمة. هذه هذه ال. I'm ready. هذه ترميكة. Okay, three. Mhm. Mm okay. okay. And just walk, 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 keep walking. Let's go. Whoop back. Yeah, the wind. You see, we can postpone and cancel all the time uh -huh. till we feel that it's really good. Oh, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. Yes. We're not going to take any, but it's really going to... You see it when it's to go up? Because it shifted while uh, we stopped walking, so I can't postpone it directly. Ah, uh, you have the little flags to show you. Yes. They're the indicators. Yeah, let's go. Yalla. Three. No, like that. Like that. That's oh, this it. way? Three, two, one, one. Perfect, man. Ooh, and we're off. Oh my god. Straight away we're just gliding the through. The camera is on? Oh yeah. I hope so. Wow. So since you're a YouTuber, uh -huh. we're gonna do a flight like never before. Oh yeah? Yeah. The expedited route. Oh, we're going back. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, we're going proper close to the trees. Wow, look at this. This is incredible. Wow, you can really feel the different, uh, the wind pressure, kind of. It just takes you. Wow. Oh my God, this is insane. <laughs> it's a lot smoother than I was expecting. And then you just, a sudden gush of wind just takes you. Wow. Oh my God. This is really surreal. Woohoo! I guess the main benefit of this is you actually get to take it in and enjoy it, whereas sky yeah, yeah. skydiving is over in yes. a minute. The thing that you can have adrenaline more than skydiving and you cannot see it today. Exactly. Now what I'm doing uh -huh. is I'm waiting for the wind to go up yep. to catch a thermal so I can go high more than, so I can cruise all the area. Oh yeah, we're going so higher. I'm waiting the thermal to go up again because it's like a wave, it's a cycle. Uh-huh. Wow. I did not know you could go up in these. Yes, we're gonna go up and you're gonna see. Whoa.
This is awesome. We're just so we're basically going around in circles. Now we're actually going up. See, oh, we're going up. wow, we're actually going up. That's insane. I did not know that was possible. Whoa, and then suddenly like uh Wow. When you go up and uh, and it's the end of the thermal, so there's no go up, you feel that uh yeah, yeah, yeah. bump. Yeah. This really gives you a, a perspective of Lebanon like no other and it really actually makes you realize how beautiful this is like the green is so lush and you can see the beautiful beach the uh the sea line oh we're getting a call taking a business call in the air <laughs> yeah and uh even like the the city here looks so beautiful this is all junior yeah man okay so smooth it's like uh it, it feels like we have an engine but we don't and you get the old jolt but honestly it's extremely smooth so i wasn't able to catch thermal over there uh-huh so while looking at my friend over there he's a solo pilot yeah and he's up there so i know that behind in those clouds there's a thermal okay so i'm going there to catch a thermal over there okay yalla wow how did you find about us uh i was walking I, my hotel was near oh, i okay. just walked and i uh inquired oh, okay you are one of the best tour companies for yes, it yes we oh. have the biggest company all the pilots are certified uh -huh. and uh, this summer also there's bhpa from uk coming to lebanon to give more certifi certification to and diploma to my pilots Oh great. I trained the pilot and even in England the, the pilots I trained are uh, accepted to be trained with the, your uh, community. Okay, that's great. Well, that was just luck that I found you guys. That's good. See here guys, look how close we're getting to the uh, trees. Wow, I feel like a, I feel like a drone right now. Like Yeah, because you're close. This is insane. I'm I'm the new be afraid and go Whoa. <laughs> and go <laughs> Oh my god look how close you are Oh that's so much fun Well so we're actually getting close to the Telefreak as well And we're gonna try to go up to the Virgin Oh Mary. yeah and we're gonna do it Let's see how Wow this is just so crazy how this works. I wish I'd been paying more attention in science class because I have no idea how the the physics of this works, but uh, we are going up right now. I can't get over this. Like we're in the forest right next to the city, right next to the ocean. I don't think this is, you can get this anywhere else in the world. Let's go do a visit to this guy. Okay. This is your friend? No, but I'm going to try to be friends with those <laughs> the balcony. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh no way. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Sabaho. <laughs> that is crazy. So this is the if you guys saw my vlog in June, oh we're going over again. This is uh the telefreak that we got up to. So you get the you get the telefreak all the way up here. And this is uh, Beirut in the in the very yes. distance. You guys might not be able to see. Okay, now we're actually making some real progress. Yeah, we're going up. We're going up. And now you can see. So we got Junir, we've got Beirut. What's that city there? Where? Behind us. Where? Behind. Behind is uh, uh, Sahili. Sahili. Zahle. Sahili. Sahili. Ah, now we are getting up to the the highest points that you could probably reach on land and we're still going up that's the pope uh, the patriarch residence of lebanon oh yeah yes over there the big uh, house oh wow yeah yeah yes. oh wow you can see there's a beautiful beautiful house there now we're just surrounded by valleys and there's actually a lot of uh, development everywhere we've got it all the way around there all the way around there it's Beirut and Junior. That's the cloud above us and it's taking us up. 
Oh yeah? So that's why I'm following the cloud. Wow, we're still going up. Wow, this is high now. How many meters above sea level? Now we are uh, around 700. 700. All right, we're going back, back around to where we came from. So is there like uh, like racing or games involved? In Lebanon, no. No. In Europe, yes, in the Alps. So they race against each other? Yeah, ah. from country to another. Oh, no way. This is what I do. How far could you go with one of these? I, sometimes I fly from Austria to Germany around 300 kilometers. No way. Yes, from uh, Chamonix, the Alps to Italy. That's the most sustainable way of traveling. Yes, it's, uh, it's really good. No fuel. No fuel at all. Yeah. Do you have to take your passport? <laughs> no, because if you have Schengen, you can go wherever. Ah, okay. Seeing how this view looks for you guys, you can probably see more now. And now we're, uh, we're zipping away. <laughs> oh my God. We're doing donuts in the air. So how many flights do you do a day? 10. 10 a day? Yeah. Oh, average per year uh, you can say six, seven, all year. Like if you wanna take the day training or something, you can say you can say per year six per day. Wow, that is a lot. That's a lot of adrenaline. Yeah. This is, I guess, this is now just like riding a bike. Yes, but when I'm alone, uh, I do acrobatics. Oh no way! Wow. Here we go. Oh, I feel like a bird, a bird of prey. Wow. Very professional. Whoa. All right, so now we're making some good progress over the city, heading towards the landing site. And this is probably one of the cool, really cool bits because you get to see the traffic going by they're so, like, honestly, look how small everything looks. Truly one of the, the best things I've done in Lebanon so far. I would definitely recommend it. And if you're scared of heights, then you just gotta do it because you'll, you'll always be scared of heights unless you just bite the bullet and do it. Oh, wow, the, the landing site is sponsored by Almaza. So yes, I think- we are sponsored by Almaza, the company. Oh. Almaza is the, the, the biggest uh, company of beer in Lebanon. Yeah, this is a, and our traditional beer. This is a great sponsor. Yeah, but don't drink and drive. Or can can you drink in parachutes? Here we go. See that boat? Yeah. When we arrive above it, we're gonna try to circle so fast. Keep your camera so high, yeah. so the boat will be in the same okay. position as us. All right. Let's see if we can do this. Oh my God! This is insane. I bet. I bet the view on the uh, GoPro of the whole city behind me is awesome. You can see the, the water glistening. Five, four, three, three two, two, and you're above the boat. Yalla. Here we go. Ooh, and the guy would do Whoa. it. Yeah. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> ah. <laughs> wow. This is insane. Oh my god. Wow, I actually felt like a little bit of g-force. Yeah, you can arrive to six if you're alone doing acrobatic. Really? Six, yes. six g's? Six g's. When I do tumbling, it's mean flip. Yeah. I arrive to six g's. Whew! That is impressive. Okay, now we're, we're heading into the landing site and you can see everything's getting clearer now. We're getting closer to land. This is really outstanding. Here we go. You get to see the nice little beach club and we're coming in for a smooth landing. Wow. Oh. <laughs> and that's it. Wow, very smooth. That was almost too smooth. Messi, that was very, very good, very professional and uh, incredible, adventurous. Oh yeah, that was so good an alarm now yeah. you wake up yeah 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 time, time to wake up <laughs> you see wake up from this dream you were dreaming right <laughs> i was and now put your alarm off and wake up oh there we go it was all a dream wasn't it thank you boss yeah. that yeah. was really good merci and we are back on land wow
that was insane it may not have been like too i may not have been too uh energetic but i was kind of just taking it in it was more of a calm um but it was so incredible just like out of this world i just was not expecting that at all like really long it took us for like at least 20 minutes just gliding all around we went up we did some some tricks and yeah he was very professional and uh well and then at the end we did that trick and got a bit dizzy from that but that was oh that was well once in a lifetime opportunity i would definitely recommend it so now we're going to chill for a little bit and then meet Fuad, I think, and get some food. All right, guys, fast forward a little bit, and I've walked into oh, Junior and we're looking for somewhere to get some food. I'm thinking like a wrap or something like a shawarma would be nice. There's this place, Lebanese food. Let's have a look. I've seen they're, they're doing some kind of wrap. Bonsoir, uh, do you sell um, shawarma? Chicken shawarma? Okay, merci. First back, Wahed shawarma. Merci, merci. Okay, we can see they're making it over there. I can sit anywhere. Yep. 100,000. 100,000, okay. That's like $3. Very good value. Merci. Thank you. Uh, I can sit anywhere. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Not the most talkative man in the world, but uh, that might be the actual, the first grumpy. Ah, sorry? Ah, I have to give it to him. I give it. Ah, okay. Bonsoir. Kifak. And measure how? Ooh. This will be my first shawarma, not from Restaurant Joseph, which is the best in the world. So, tough competition. But uh, so far, the service doesn't get a five star. It gets a one star. But the food can make up for it. Here we go, one shawarma. Yalla. Yalla. Just what I needed after adrenaline fueled a few hours. I'm gonna absolutely devour this. And I know some of you guys are gonna be saying, I promised you guys I was gonna get a falafel sandwich. Well, promises are made to be broken, unfortunately. No, I will, I will do it guys, just not today's video. Um, so let's see, let's see how this compares to the famous restaurant Joseph. In terms of size, it's the exact same size. I think it's it's always going to be the same size. We'll let it cool down a little bit, and we'll do. Remember what Fuad says: eat it in this, so you don't lose anything. It looks good. It looks good so far. We'll give it a minute. Oh, oh. All right, guys. Time to yellow. I'm getting hungry now. I'm going to stop being around fish. You can see the garlic, tomb the salad, the chip <laughs> sticking out the top, and the chicken, of course. That's really good. That is pretty goddamn good. Can't complain. I didn't get enough of the chicken, though. I need to go for one more bite of the chicken. That's the main difference. The chicken just isn't as good as Restaurant Joseph's. It's a very, very good um, shawarma though. I don't think you can get a bad shawarma here. I'm gonna be going back to the UK and complaining about how bad they are there. This is a very, very good shawarma, I have to say. The garlic is really, really good. I like how they've added some greens in there. Chips are good. It's a very, very good shawarma. I cannot complain, but it's not the best one. And the customer service is pretty terrible. But I'm not a food reviewer. I'm sounding like a food reviewer. This is kind of something that I feel like I want to start making at home. It feels like with the right ingredients, it could be healthy. Take away the chips, take away the, make the chicken a little bit healthier, better quality chicken. This could be healthy. Thank you. Bye-bye.